Hi, I'm Rachel, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create stunning jewelry using the Color Therapy app. Let's get started. This is an intermediate tutorial, and I'll show you how to make jewelry look like it's glowing in the night. By using dark shades of purple on the whole body and the background, you can make this elaborate necklace look like the gems are shining in the dark on a fancy lady. So, to find the image, go under Deluxe, click Fashion, and then go under Jewelry, and select the second image. Okay, so I want to begin by coloring the background first so I know how the jewelry will stand out from it. So let's go into the palette, and let's choose the palette called Glow. It has a really nice fade from black to a really bright color. So for the background, I wanna choose a dark blue to black. Let's go back in there, and for the body, I want to choose dark black to a purple color. So with the darker color, the dark blue and black, I'm going to set it to a light to dark gradient going from the left to the right. And I'll do the same thing on the other side and switch it so it almost looks like there's a light shining from behind her. Now for her body, I'll choose that purple and black color. Let's make the left side lighter and the dark side darker on her neck. And then for her face, we'll switch that so it's almost as if lights are sort of shining all around her in different directions. So she's being lit up by spotlights here and there. Now let's go back into the glow palette and choose a few more colors. So for the beads, I'll choose this turquoise glow color. And then I'll choose the pinkish red glow color. Now go into the gold palette and select a really soft gradient from gold going into a light white. Okay, so let's get started with the colors that we have now and we can add more later. So I'll start with the pink and black gradient and just zoom in to the main jewelry piece. And I'm gonna choose a radial gradient and begin tapping to fill the squiggly lines in the middle. Using that same color, I'll also color the earring and the other pieces. Now using that gold color we have, let's fill in the middle of the jewelry. I'm setting the gradient from a light to dark and tapping to fill. And then also color in the middle teardrop shapes, but set that to a radial gradient. Now I want to get another color for the beads, so I'm gonna open up the palette and choose Halloween one. And there's a nice purple that fades into a cream color that we'll choose. So for the main beads on the base of the necklace, let's set that gradient to radial and tap those. Now for the base of the necklace, let's find another color for that, something really shiny. So go into basic and click the dark blue that fades into white and then into turquoise gradient. And we're gonna apply the same color to the whole entire base of the necklace. Okay, and then for the rest of the beads and jewelry, let's use that dark turquoise glow color and let's set that one to radial. And let's tap to fill. I'm also going to use this color for the jewels, for these ones, I want it to be light to dark from the top and dark at the bottom. And the very middle of those, I'm going to color that pinkish glow color. Now, to finish it up, let's go into the effects tab. Under lines, let's click gold. And now it's really gonna have that bright, shiny effect. Let's go and click on the oil painting effect. With the oil painting effect on it, it almost looks like she's standing behind a glass or a mirror. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.